Yeah. How'd you feel last week? Any, uh, any yeah. extra nerves going into that Once series? No, not really, because I've been um, really focusing on really approaching it as preseason. I think um, it's like preseason. I don't know anything about the team. I don't know anything about really what their strategy is. So I go out there thinking that, you know what, it's my game. I'm going to throw what I throw. So. You guys have played Kentucky, though, and you, you played in that game. Yeah. What, what, what do you remember from, from that contest think, earlier? You know, they're aggressive hitters. They're, they're very good with their bats and their approach to the, in the box. So I think this week I'm going to have to really focus on moving the ball and, you know, not making as many mistakes as I have been in the past because they definitely hit me hard when I made my mistakes. So I think it's going to come down to really throwing those quality pitches. Does that, as far as just kind of remembering that game, does that apply to this weekend at all? Or do you, you know, kind of treat it like it's a, it's a new team because it's been so long since you played that You know, it's been months since we played them. So, you know, I've become a better player. They probably became a better team and had more stronger points in their season. So I think it's two different it's two t different teams to me still because I think we've grown such drastically as a team. So I think it's going to be two different teams than there was in the preseason. Did Kentucky recruit you? That's kind of close. A little bit over in your neck of the woods. Um, I, I talked to the head coach a couple of times, but I really not heavily recruited now. I talked to them for a little bit, but nothing really personal to say, hey, you remember me. Sure. Yeah. Is this being an SEC team, does that add anything to you that you're kind of two dominant conferences this entire season? No, I don't. I really don't look at the conference as much. I think I look at the team, and I, I, I really don't look at it as that way. I just think it's just another team that we're playing, and, you know, our team's really strong, so I think that's what I'm thinking that, you know what, our team can beat anybody on any given day. So Last week, uh, I think it was Miranda who said after this, the second game uh, of the weekend, the first game against Wisconsin, that comeback told her that you guys were kind of – that seasoned you guys with the postseason that told you guys can come back from anything. Um, do you feel like that was a big moment for you, like psyche wise? Yes, most definitely. You know, um, throughout the season, we've always been always ahead of the team or we're getting those first runs. So I think really being put kind of in a deeper hole and still getting out of it puts a lot of positive thoughts in our head that we can come back from anything. And I think that's really good for our team to think that we, as, as, as much as we wanted to wait out, we waited out until the last minute to do what we had to do. So I think that really made our team think, you know what, it's not over until it's over. And especially as a pitcher, I learned so much from watching the Wisconsin freshman pitcher because, you know, in her head she's thinking, hey, I got, I'm winning right now. And that to me thing says, no matter who you're playing, until all the outs are out and you're shaking their hands, that's when it's over. It doesn't matter if you're up by two runs or if you're down by three. Like, anything can happen. So I think that proves to me that, especially as a pitcher and post play, that anyone can come back at any time. What have you seen from, from Shannon Rhodes this se whole season? She had the big hit against Kentucky the first game. Obviously a huge weekend. What have you seen from your classmate? You know, Shannon, Shannon started off a little rough. She was kind of slow to begin with, but she's been killing it. I'm so excited for her. She's been she's proven herself as a freshman. And, you know, what, turning around on the mound and seeing her in center field, and I think she she has a saying that she covers 30 yards each way, front, back, each side. So I'm thinking, that's a lot of yard to cover. And she's like, hey, that's what that's my goal, was to cover 30 yards as a, front, uh, as a center fielder. So that makes me really excited to look out in the outfield and see her. And then she comes up and she performs in big situations. And, you know, post play is for players that – sometimes can't perform under pressure and some pr players actually come out. We were actually just talking about the other day. I said, it's crazy. Postseason brings out a whole new player. Like you're going to find the girl that's really confident under pressure. Or you're going to find that girl that is questioning herself during the season. And you know what? Shannon as a freshman has figured out what is her strengths up to bat. And that's awesome. Yeah. She's still got three more years. What's her personality like away from media events? Oh, she doesn't super positive. She's, she's awesome. You know, she is my best friend. So, you know, that's kind of a <laughs> little out there, but no, she's, very positive. She's very educated with the game. Um, it, it impresses me when she talks about things. I'm like, wouldn't even think of that. Like yesterday, for example, uh, she was sliding, and I've always learned how to slide when I did run is with your right leg. And I'm like, why do you slide with your left left leg? Like you're dominant, you're right. She says, oh, because I can see the base, and when I slide into home, I can see the play coming. I'm like, that just never hit me. And I'm like, that that's genius because that can completely change the game. So she's definitely very educated on the game, and that's that's also really exciting to see as a freshman that her knowledge of the game is slowly growing every time she plays. Are you, are you guys getting tired of us asking why the freshmen are so good on this team, or is you <laughs> pretty much used to it by now? Um, it's it's kind of used to. You know, I'm really excited to see my classmates really come out here and perform. And you know, at a big stage like this, playing for the pack, uh, it's you know, and this year the pack was really good. It's stronger than it has been the years that I've heard. Um, and it's exciting because when we play these SEC teams, I'm looking at them like, we just played some of the hardest teams in the country in our own conference. So I really shouldn't be questioning my team or myself when I go out there because we played at these big high levels and we're just going to keep on doing the same thing during post. So when the stage is, is still new, though, I mean, you have the, the experience of the Pac-12, but the stage is new at, at some point. How do you avoid kind of letting that pressure or, or the bigger stage get to you guys? As, as a freshman class? 
just in general or as just a team in general? or as a freshman? I think as a freshman, I think I've bonded with my teammates so much and I've learned so much from our seniors and our upperclassmen that I feel like I've been here for years already. I'm like, goodness gracious, I can only imagine what it feels like to be four years in. <laughs> and we played so much softball. So I think playing and getting all those reps during preseason and practice and inner squad, like today we're going to do inner squad and I'm going to to my batters. Every every game, every inning that I pitch to anybody, I'm always learning something new. And I think that's really what is differing from other teams. And our freshman class, I think, is very quick to adjusting. And I think at this level, you need to know how to adjust quickly, because if not, you're going to fall behind. And I know Miranda adjusted really well, Shannon, um, Haley, and Mia. Like, they're all just doing awesome jobs, and I'm so proud. I can't wait. I, I, I can't wait to be with them for another three years. It's going to be pretty cool. When you allowed the home run against Wisconsin, how did you come back from that? Because then you pitched three shutout innings after that. What was your – because you said – and three weeks before that, you'd kind of been up and down roller coaster of emotions. Mm -hmm. How'd you how'd you kind of shut out the bad vibes? I'm guessing. You know, when I gave up that home run, I was like, man. I said, now I just got my team in a deeper hole. I'm thinking, great, and I can't even go up there to bat to help them out. Like I just gotta learn how to adjust on the mound. And you know, Nikki came up to me. She said, hey, we're good. We're gonna come back from this. And my team. My teammates never get upset or mad at me for giving a home run up or or anything that could go wrong as pitching. They're so supportive, and I think that's what makes me even want to do better because I'm like, they're not mad at me. They just want me to go out there and be the best me I can be on that mound. So I think looking at that and just going out there and pitching my best is what what they expect out of me. Would that have been your same reaction earlier in the season when you're just kind of getting used to college, or have, have you made improvements that way to kind of settle down and not let stuff get to you? I think knowing that I'm a rise ball pitcher, uh, usually rise ball pitchers give up more home runs. Yeah. So I wouldn't say I'm used to home runs getting hit off me, but I would say that I've gotten handfuls of home runs hit off me. So I look at that, it's one thing a coach told me is, is how you bounce back from those home runs. And I think one thing that was really important was when I was getting recruited, Coach White came to see me for the very first time, and I'm playing this girl that averages two home runs a game in this tournament. I'm thinking, oh my goodness. I said, I'm not giving a home run to this girl. I'm going to make her stop right at my game. She hits the farthest ball up in the air. I'm like, oh my God, Coach White is watching me. I just gave up a home run to this girl, and now we're tied 2-2. I'm thinking, oh my God, he's done recruiting me. He's done. He thinks that I'm terrible now because I just gave a home run up. And then I came out, and I struck the next nine batters out. And he was like, it's all how you bounce back from it and I think that kind of kept in my head that yeah I gave up a home run and yeah I had one bad pitch but that's not going to affect the next 20 pitches that I'm going to throw. Hey. That's a great story. Good. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> yeah. Last question for me. When did you get the O logo? Oh, yeah. You want to see it? Yeah. It's pretty, <laughs> oh, that's cool. It's pretty cool. Um, I actually what was got the occasion? It, well, I always get designs in for every weekend so last weekend I, I couldn't get it because of appointment problems so I said I'm going to save it for Supers if we go. Oh. So I said, you know what? I'm going to put the O on my, bed, my back of my head because hopefully if we go to OKC, it's still there. It's going to be sharpened up even more. So that, that's why I'm going for Oregon this time. How long does that take? That uh, This took like 30 minutes. Oh. It, was, it was a lot of work. He put a lot of good detail into it. So, <laughs> but yeah. <laughs> Have you always had those, like the, the ladders or whatever you call those, like on the... Oh, the lower? lines? Yeah. Uh, no, I just got them in. They're the wings of the O. I see. So, uh, but you've had like the kind of like a cornrow design or something, I've, right? I've had cornrows. I usually have cornrows on my left, and then I have a design in the back for my hair. Usually on Friday nights, that's my hairstyle. So, there you go. Yeah. Huh? <laughs> More you know. <laughs> Fun fact about my hairstyle. <laughs> Is that it? Thank you. Yeah. Awesome, Thank you. guys. Thank you. Appreciate it.